Hey there everybody, MonkeyDude22 here as a part of the Xbox Ambassadors program. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to connect an Xbox 360 to Xbox Live uh, using a wireless router. So let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, what we need to get started here, of course, is we're going to need an internet modem and a wireless router. Uh, these sometimes can be sold together in one package uh, called an internet gateway, which is a modem and a router combined. Uh, you might want to check with your internet service provider because sometimes these are provided. Uh, other times you do have to purchase them, so you'll want to check with your ISP for more info on that. Uh, you'll also need an ethernet cable if you're using the separate modem and the router and of course an xbox 360 uh, with wireless capabilities so let's take a look and see how we get these devices hooked up uh, from your internet modem uh, to your wireless router uh, you're going to want to use the ethernet cable uh, and the ethernet cable is going to be plugged into the lan or ethernet port on your internet modem the other end of course is going to get plugged into your wireless router and this is usually into the same type of slot uh, it's called an internet or a modem port uh, either on a gateway device or router, you're going to have four different ports typically that are side by side. You want the one that's specifically labeled modem or internet. Uh, that's going to be the one that you're going to want to plug into so they connect properly. Uh, once of course you get your modem powered on and your router powered on, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to want to connect the router to the Xbox 360. Now with the wireless router, when you first set it up, it's going to ask you to create a username and a password for the wireless connection. The wireless network name is typically referred to as an SSID. So keep that in mind as we go forward in connecting on the Xbox 360 as well as your password. Um, so now as we take a look at the Xbox 360 there, uh, you can see that the original Xbox 360 uh, doesn't have Wi-Fi built in, but if you have that wireless adapter, uh, you'll be good to go as well. So let's go ahead and boot up the Xbox 360 now, and we'll get this connected. So once your Xbox 360 is booted up, you're going to want to go ahead and scroll all the way over to the right, uh, over to the Settings tab. And once we go ahead and select the Settings tab, you're going to want to go ahead and press A on System and then again on network settings. Once we go ahead and click A on network settings, uh, you're gonna find a couple of different network names. Uh, these are the SSIDs. You'll wanna go ahead and select your network name and put in your password. Uh, of course, I'm not gonna show you the password there, but you'll wanna put your password in next. Uh, the next thing it's going to do is it's going to go ahead and run an Xbox Live connection from the console to your Wi-Fi router. This is going to make sure that your usernames and your passwords are set up correctly there. From your router to then the internet service provider. Once it's got a good connection with your internet provider, then it's going to test the connection from the provider to Xbox Live. Once you got a green check on all three of those steps there, uh, you should be good to go. So you can go ahead and hit the B button to back out of the settings and you can get all the way to the dashboard. Alternatively, you can hit the guide button on the controller to also get to the dashboard. But the next thing we wanna do, cause it looks like we've got a connection now, is we're gonna wanna go ahead and sign in. So if you hit the guide button on your controller, go ahead and press A on either sign in, create a profile or download a profile as the case may be. If this is a new console, but you already have an Xbox Live account, go ahead and press the download profile there cause you don't need to sign in or create another profile. Uh, once you're good to go there, uh, you should sign in without any problems. Uh, if you do have any other issues though, maybe with the connection between the router to the uh, modem, maybe from the modem to Xbox Live, to your ISP, take a look in the descriptions because I'm going to go ahead and post another the little FAQ guide that's going to show you all the different kind of error messages you might see and how to fix those. Uh, also, if you have any suggestions for different videos, please leave those in the comments. Uh, please leave a like if you liked the video or if it helped out. And if you have any questions further, uh, please utilize the xbox.com forums. You can go to forums.xbox.com. You can also tweet at Xbox support. They're happy to help as well. And if you have any questions about the ambassador program, ambassadors.xbox.com is where you can learn more of information about how you can become an ambassador and earn experience and different prizes for just making content like this or helping out people through live chat. I'm MonkeyDo22 as part of the Xbox Ambassadors program. It was great speaking with you today, and I'll see you on Xbox Live.